Southern Indiana reporter L Smith is showing us how it works and what it's going to cost. By June 7th, mail will be digital in the Floyd County Jail. Paper mail, the inmates will use these tablets. It's an effort to cut down on the illegal drugs being snuck into the jail. You can buy paper now that's laced with K2 or synthetic materials. It's expensive paper, but in the jail they, they sell it for a, a much larger profit than what it costs them to mail it in. Jail Commander Captain David Furman says there have been hundreds of cases over the years, and this is the next step to prevent anyone else from sneaking drugs inside. Floyd County has contracted with Securus, a company that focuses on communication with incarcerated individuals. Each inmate now has their own tablet, but they aren't what you're thinking. Each tablet is restricted with no access to search engines like Google or Yahoo. When Securus first launched these tablets, they actually implemented them in a corrections facility and offered inmates a thousand dollars if they could if they could hack the tablet. Uh, and nobody was successful in doing so. Receiving mail and sending mail is free for inmates, but some options cost money, things like books or music. Floyd County is outsourcing their mail to Missouri, something Foreman says was the right move. Clark County moved to digital mail last year for the same reasons, to stop drugs from coming in and also to ease pressure on their staff. Chief Deputy Scotty Maple says it's worked for them, but he has never understood why people even attempt to bring drugs inside. It's unfortunate that people try to, you know, insert more drugs into a correction facility as we're, you know, dumping tons of resources and money into programming to try to keep people off jail or off drugs while they're in jail. Furman says his officers have a no tolerance approach for inmates who try to use drugs while incarcerated. You know, I like to think that the inmates are, they have 24 hours a day, seven days a week to try and get over on us. Uh, and it's our job to combat anything that they do to try and try and win the, the game at the end of the day. Furman said going to digital is not an added expense for the jail, taxpayers or inmates. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Elle Smith.